Fred, Nora Popal, Barnburner. Um, you've been with the Toronto Raptors for a couple of years now. Um, how do you plan on using your expertise to kind of guide some of the new players? Uh, I think just speak from experience. Just tell them what I've been through, what's helped me, what's hurt me. Um, tell them what to expect. And then at the end of the day, they got to go through it themselves. So um, I did. When I got here, I had some good vets that, that looked out for me and told me the way, told me the way. And then you got to go out there and bump your head and learn, learn just like anybody else. So there's no shortcuts in this thing. Um, but uh, th we got some good young guys, and, you know, the future is bright for them. Same row just at the end, Fred, to your left. Lewis. Uh, hey, Fred. Lewis Atzman, Raptors Public. Welcome back. Hope you had a uh, good summer. Thank you. Um, Terrence Davis took a, a similar route to Toronto as you took, which is relatively rare. Have you guys had a chance to chat about that? Have you given him any words of wisdom? Yeah, we talked. We talked all summer. You know, um, that was something that was brought up to me before, as he signed was, you know, here's this kid who is undrafted. I think he got added to summer league late. So I must have, I think I missed him in summer league. But um, I got a chance to take him out for dinner and learn more about his story. And just we got to chop it up. And I got to give him some game and, and just tell him, you know, that he's on the right path. He's a, he's a talented guy. Um, and like I said, there's no shortcut. So he's got to go through the ringer just like everybody else. Uh, I joke with him that his, his salary is a little bit higher than mine was three years ago due to the, the cap and the way it's going up. But uh, other than that, man, he's, he's a heck of a player. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can be one of the guys that can help us off the bench this year. Uh, front row and to your uh, right here. Asha with CBC News Marketplace. We're doing a story about basketball shoes. So I want to know, what do you look for in a good basketball shoe to help you on the court? Uh, for me, it's got to be low top, um, just the way my feet work. Uh, it's got to be sturdy, a little bit light. I'm not the fastest guy in the world, so any type of little uh, uh, advantage I can get, hopefully they're light and comfortable. But more so than that, it's got to be something that can take the load of my body and the way I move and keep me injury free. So I've shuffled around. I found a couple that I like. And uh, once I find one, I, I stick to it. So we're at the back uh, on the left, Fred. Hey, Fred. Miles Victor, CBC Sports. As somebody who's sort of grown up with Pascal on the Raptors, what do you see from him that he could make another leap this season? Uh, I mean, what, there's nothing he can't do. So I don't know. That's up to him. The sky's the limit. Pascal is the only one who can tell us what to expect from him. Um, he's going to keep adding. He's going to keep growing, keep evolving. Last year was a tremendous jump for him. I don't see why uh, there can't be another jump from him this year. And uh, if he's anything close to how good he was last year, we'll be in good shape. So um, just look to be there to support him and, and uh, you know, keep helping and keep growing. And we're all in this thing together. Uh, two questions down front on your left. So Bruce and then Mike. Fred, you talked about when Kawhi, if Kawhi left, you were just going to have to go kick his ass. Um, when you look at this team, I think you're, you're ranked, I think, 11th in the betting odds for a championship. How do you view this season as defending champions, but without Kawhi and without Danny? You know we were ranked last year? No, me either. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, same way I looked at it last year. You know, obviously we're not uh, favorites. I think if Kawhi would have came back and Danny would have came back with the same team, we could have been favorites to win it. But I'm not sure how much that stuff matters. I think you got to go out there, got to lace them up. You got to put a lot of work in. You got to stay really good and grow throughout the year. And towards the end of the year, you got to be playing some of your better basketball. And then there's two months from April to the end. And there's going to be ups and downs. We got blown out. We blew teams out. We had injuries. You know, there's a lot of stuff along the way that goes into winning championships. So it's not as cut and dry as people want to make it seem. Um, I know you guys got to write your stories, but it's a journey. And I mean every word of that, it's a journey. And I'm just looking forward to being on this journey with this team that we have and attacking that and trying to go win another one. Right next to him, Mike. Fred, Michael Grange from Sportsnet. How are you? Good, how are you? Not bad. Um, what was your, has been maybe your favorite moment as an NBA champion, if there's been one so far? And about when did you kind of flip the switch? and say, that's done, now it's time to move on? Uh, I think probably the two moments stick out to me is like the process of from game one to game six of just like being on the floor, playing well, winning, and saying, OK, like we're going to do this. We know we're going to do this. There's nothing going to stop us from winning this. And then winning it, and then the 
after effects of that, right? The parades, you know, I go back home and get a parade. Everywhere you go, you're the biggest thing in the world. So you, you soak all that up as you should. We put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into that, uh, literally. And, you know, you got to reap the rewards of that. And then uh, 10 days went by, I didn't do anything, and I started getting bored. And I started back lifting and put my plan together of, like, getting ready for the new season and started thinking about how I can become a better player. And, uh, you know, here we are, getting ready to go to camp and just, like I said, super excited, you know, for what lies ahead. Thanks very much. All right, thank you.